Oh. Hey gang, welcome back to another edition of Canteen Cup Tuesday. Once again, this is Matthew Old Florida Boy, your host, and today we have a surprise. Surprise Canteen Cup Tuesday guest. He's not going to stay around for the cooking part, but he's going on a hike. Today we have, I want to introduce you all to my brother Mike. All right, come in here. And his wife Alice. I'll stay right here. That's okay. Mike, and that's Alice. They are going to take uh, 11 miles? Yeah, 12. 11. 12 miles. <laughs> yep. They're going to take a 12 mile hike along this section of the Florida Trail. We are at the Little Scrub Camp at Bull Creek Wildlife Management Area today. And uh, I'm going to show you around this uh, camp briefly. They've made some improvements in case anybody wants to come out here. But I'm not going to do the Canteen Cup Tuesday here. I'm going to go up to the Oak Scrub where me and Trailblazer Tim have been camping. Uh, and uh, here we go. Let me show you around the camp. And first of all, I'm going to show you what uh, my brother brings in his pack for a 12 mile hike. And it, 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 he's going to watch this video and he's going to look at the comments. So if you want to comment about it, just leave a comment down below. This should be good. So let's go see what he's got in his pack. All right, here we go. This is, this is Mike's pack for a 12 mile hike. Mike, why don't you describe what you have in your pack? Well, I'm pretty much of a minimalist, so I travel light. Uh, I've got four bottles of water. I, th I figure that's uh, what it's what I'm going to need for the for the day. Um, I have paracord. That's I, good. I have a uh, multi tool. That's also good. And just in case we get caught out after dark, I have a little uh, a little uh, mini mag. Um, and then uh, just in case I run out of water and I have to drink out of the creek, I have a uh, saw your... <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> I have a saw your mini. Um, and then other than that, I have uh, food for the day. I have two uh, peanut butter sandwiches. That's one of my four favorite survival foods, <clears throat> a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, hot dogs, spam, and ramen noodles. And he's, he's decking on the spam and the hot dogs and the ramen, but he's going with the PB and J, minus the J. And I have two, uh, I have two tangerines and I have two uh, protein bars. Oh man. And, uh, and that's basically it. Uh, this is uh, just in case my back starts hurting, I'm, I can wrap myself up. And, uh, and other than that, I have, a, I have a raincoat and I'm just a minimalist. I have a little 10 liter uh, Osprey pack and I travel light, but you know, I try to make sure I have some of the basics and and uh, just in case. So, uh, but anyway, that's my uh, that's my pack for the day. Most important thing you better have is your cell phone on you in case something happens so you can call me. <laughs> there you go. You got your cell phone on you. Yep. All right. Most important thing. All right. So let's see what Alice is uh, shaking over here. All right, she's carrying a much bigger pack. I assume that there's some some clothes and some other food and stuff like that in it. She's rocking the trekking poles over here and uh, fueling up a little bit before we go, you know, and everything is pretty cool. But they, they got plenty of water. I got a compass. Oh, Alice has a compass yeah, in case. Compass. Ah, that's good. Yeah. You're going to get some positive comments on that. <laughs> And, so, and a whistle. Just and a whistle, just yeah. in case you want to whistle at somebody. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like they got plenty of water and plenty of food. Mm -hmm. uh, they're they're going to probably take a four or five hour hike. And uh, I'm going to go back and do Canteen Cup Tuesday. I think y'all are going to like it. And their ass is going to be beat by the time they get back. So they are going to cruise back. And I'm going to take a quick walk around a uh, little scrub. And then we're going to get cooking. Okay, so there's an introduction to my brother, Mike. Uh, he's going to be hiking the 11 mile trail back to the car. Not me. I'm going to go do a little canteen cup cooking and get some lunch. A while back, I did a video of trying to duplicate the mountain house beef stroganoff. Worked pretty well, but I saw something really cool that I want to show you uh, in Publix the other day. And I think I can do a better beef stroganoff than that with a special kind of meat. You're not going to want to miss this. All right, y'all remember last year, last April, me and Trailblazer Tim were out here and we were camping in this oak scrub. When they, when they closed down the, the whole country, we were social distancing. This is our old campsite and our old fire pit is still here and I'm going to use it today and we're going to cook up some good canteen cup stuff. Okay, so I found this in Publix. Today, we're going to be doing the Northside Stroganoff. 
Um, and I think it's going to work out pretty good. It's already fixed up and kind of looks like the mountain house stuff. We needed some meat, but don't worry. I'm not going to use Vienna sausage or Vienna sausage bites or spam or anything like that. I found something equally as disgusting. Dollar Tree beef patties. Extra value. And yeah, they're, uh, they're pretty thought out. The ingredients are beef, beef hearts, and water. Yeesh. And textured soy protein or flour. All right, extra value beef patties. This should be good. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna brown up the beef. Whew. That looks terrible. <laughs> oh man. Ugh. This beef patty looks just bad. I don't know what's in here, but there ain't much beef in there. Oof. Oh man, it's really greasy. <laughs> we got our spoon. I'm going to tell you about this later. But I'm going to ground up this beef. Ooh, it's all its getting into a little ball. It's not even giving any grease off. Oh, this is going to be bad. All right. This beef is just turning into mush. But it, it's kind of browning. Um, we're going we're gonna to see how it works out. Let's taste it. Ooh, it's very fatty. Very fatty. Well, I'm going to brown that up and then take it off. And then we're going to add it to... The stroganoff, see how it works out. All right, this beef, if you want to call it that, it's been cooking for a few minutes and it's not browning. It's cooking, but it's not browning up. I, I, I don't know. Let's taste it. Gah, it does not taste very good at all. Ooh, man, that, that's not too good. It's starting to barely brown up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to brown it up for a few more minutes. All right, the beef is just not browning up too good, so I'm gonna take it off, save it, because we're gonna put it in the the stroganoff. And that looks like dog shit. <laughs> it it kind of tastes like it too. So. <clears throat> <clears throat> and let that boil up now in the north side this is going to be good by itself i don't know about adding the beef but this is going to be pretty good i've had these before not the stroganoff but it says put a half a cup of milk i don't got any milk but what i do have is one of these little domino coffee creamers Oh, well, milk cream, what's the difference? So we're gonna put one of these in. We boil up the water, which shouldn't be too long. This is gonna double as our milk. All right, put it right in there. Let her boil up there, get all mixed up. Then we're gonna add this. Okay, we've got our water boiling up. We're gonna add our stroganoff noodles. It says bring those to a boil and then let it simmer for seven to eight minutes. So we are gonna let this baby boil up. Ooh, that actually looks pretty good. Now that smells good. All right, we've been simmering here for about eight minutes. Let's see how we're looking. Ah, that looks pretty good. Noodles are pretty tender, look pretty done. All right, so nice amount of sauce. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to turn this off. I'm going to put this beef in here, and I really use that term loosely because this is not really like beef. That just looks terrible. <laughs> I'm going to stir this up. Ooh, that looks bad. 
I don't I don't know. Uh, well, I'll put the top on it and let it sit for a few minutes, and then we're gonna see how it is. All right, here we go. Let's see what we're looking like. Uh, I don't know. Oof, man. That is, that looks just disgusting. We need something to spice it up. <laughs> Y'all know me, just a drop. This one might take more than a drop. And we might need more than that. Oh, all right. Let's see how that spiced her up. Okay, not bad. Okay, let's go see how this is. All right, here we are in our meat substitute thing. <laughs> that That is definitely not meat. Well, let's see how it is. It's hot. Um, what I think is We need just a little bit more of that. <laughs> I mean, you can never have too much of this. All right. Ooh. That is, that looks like dog food. And it kind of tastes like dog food too. That is not, that's not meat, guys. This is the extra value beef patty from Dollar Tree. And they got two in there. I, I had to throw one away. This would not brown up. And I think that, you know, the it says beef, beef hearts, water, and then textured vegetable protein soy flour. I think it's all flour. But don't ever get this from the Dollar Tree. Spam is so much better and even Vienna sausages is better than that, but you know You know me My, my guts made of cast iron, so I'm gonna eat it mm. <sighs> Oh man, I hope you guys like meat my brother Mike um, They're probably a couple of miles into their hike by now and uh, I Might be feeling the effects of this in a little while. I don't know If you use regular meat, it would be a lot better. I tried to get some of those Dollar Tree ribeyes, and that's at least meat, but I don't know what this stuff is. But hope you like my Canteen Cup Tuesday. Uh, I'm gonna call this Dollar Tree Stroganoff, because I did get the stroganoff. I got it at Publix, but I got the meat at the Dollar Tree. And the meat is just terrible. Uh, but I'm going to eat it anyway because I'm starving. Okay, so. We got this spoon. Nicely carved spoon. Keep your eyes out for the next video. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the spoon. And I think you're going to like it. So, coming to you from the old oak scrub where me and Trailblazer Tim last camped. This is Matt the Old Florida Boy. And I will see you on the trail.